Welcome, this is the postfix to infix implementation in C. And the algorithm definition is this. For each symbol, we read the symbol. If it is a operand, we push onto the stack. If it is an operator, we pop the two top expressions from the, the stack. And if the expressions have a main operator that has a lower precedence than the operator being combined, we add parentheses. We form a new string with these two expressions and the operator and then we push onto the stack. Finally, when we reach the end of the input postfix expression, the value in the stack is our infix expression, it is the final expression. Since we use a stack, first let's see how I have the stack implemented for you to understand how it works. So the definition of this stack is very simple. It has the size of 10. The stack struct have just a integer that is the count, a sharp pointer array that is the stack, okay, and is called s. I also have this function, the display. It's used to print the stack. In this case, in this video, I will not use this function, but it is very, very useful when you are doing some debug, okay. The next function is the stack push. It receives a char pointer c and if the stack is not full we insert the new element and then we update the counter the next is the stack pop it returns a char pointer and here is the definition if the stack is not empty we decrease the counter and then we get the element and return and the stack is empty just checks if the counter is equals to zero okay now we can move forward to the implementation the first thing to do is iterate for each symbol of the postfix expression i already have this function defined void to infix char pointer expression expression is the postfix expression okay it will have a char pointer that is the result and we will print f results so here we will iterate for each symbol in the expression for int i equals zero while the expression at i is different from end of string we increment the i like this so the first part is already done for each symbol next we will read the symbol so to read the symbol in this case since we have a stack of sharp pointers we need to do a little trick we need to have a sharp pointer cp sharp pointer malloc size of char and we will say that the char pointer cp at position 0 is equals to the expression at position i just this the next thing to do is check if it is a operand if it is we push onto the stack back again in the code we say if and we call the function is operand passing the cp at position 0 the char to this function if it is a operand we just stack push cp because it is a char pointer array inside the is operand definition is just this we just check if the char is a letter from the alphabet in upper case if it is between a and z this part is already done the next part is the else part where the symbol is a operator and pop the top two expressions from the stack so we need to add a else to this if statement and we don't need to check if it is a operator because since the expression that have just operands and operators if it is not a operand it is a operator okay and let me put here is operator so we need to get the first two expressions from the top of the stack so expression 2 because it's in the reversed order call stack 
pop and expression one is exactly the same thing stack pop just this so let's move forward the next thing to do is check if the expression main operator has lower precedence than operator being combined then we must add parentheses so um, Spoilers alert, this is the most complicated part of this implementation. First, we need to get the operator precedence that is equal to get precedence of CP at position 0, the char that we have at this position. And get precedence is a function that I already have this function and what it does. It receives a char and it has a result that is an integer. It starts from zero and it will start to iterate over the char pointer operators. The char pointer operators is just this string plus minus times division and power of. Okay. For each symbol it will increment the result and when it finds the symbol it breaks the loop and then returns. So if it is a plus it will be 1 minus 2 times 3 division 4 and power of is 5. But since the precedence of plus and minus is the same and times division is the same we have to check this if it is a minus or if it is a division it will decrease the number okay so the final result will be 1 for plus and minus 2 for times and division and 3 for power of okay is just this back again to what we were doing the next thing to do is get the precedence number of the expression okay the lowest precedence we define a integer that is the lowest precedence in expression 2 and we call the function get lowest precedence in main operator of expression 2 and this function is not done yet I will do next the same thing for the expression 1. After this we can compare the lowest precedence expression 2 with the operator precedence. So we do if lowest precedence expression 2 is lower than the operator precedence we will add parentheses to the expression 2. So we call the function concat char pointer and we pass a left parenthesis, the expression 2 and the right parenthesis. And this is another function that is not done yet. So we must do the get lowest precedence main operator and the concat char pointer. We need to do this to the expression 1, 2 and let me change this. So the next thing to do here is the function get lowest precedence main operator. Let me copy the name and go up and we can declare here. It will return an integer and it will receive a sharp pointer that is our sub expression like this. Let's declare the result. If the result is the lowest and we can give the value of a hundred at the beginning. We will return the lowest. The by the way the maximum precedence value can be three. Why? Because of this thing. Um this rule. This will be one, this will be two, and this will be three. Okay? Now we can iterate over the sub expression for int i equals zero while sub expression at i is different from end of the string we increment the variable i okay we can get now the char sub expression at i and we will check if the char is operator. If it is operator we will do something. 
The operator function is very simple too. We receive a char and we iterate over the char pointer operators plus, minus, times, division and power off. If we find the symbol in the operator's char pointer, we affect the result as 1. If not, the result will be 0. It's just that. Inside of the if, what we must do? We get the operator precedence, op precedence is equals to the get precedence of C. Okay? And if the operator precedence is lower than the lowest, the 100 value here, we must, we must update the lowest to op precedence, like this. Okay? But there are a special rule here. Okay? The expression can have already parentheses and the operators inside the parentheses doesn't count. So to avoid the that situation, the counting of that uh, operators, we must say here before the for loop we can say int parentheses um, count is equals to zero at the beginning and here in the if expression we check parentheses count equals to zero and is operator so it will do this operation if the parentheses count is zero okay now let's check the parentheses else if c is equals to left parentheses we do parentheses plus plus else if the c is equals to right parentheses we decrease the sorry parentheses count and here we decrease the parentheses count like this we are done with this function okay is just this it will return the lowest so let me decrease here. The next function to implement is concat char pointer. Let me copy this and go up again. We can insert the function after this one. It will return a char pointer and it will receive a char pointer that is the start, a char pointer that is the middle and a char pointer that is the end. Just this. And 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 we declare a char pointer result that is equals to malloc size of char and we return the result okay now we must do we declare an integer that is the index of the result char pointer and we iterate over each char pointers that we received as the parameters so for int i equals to zero start i different from end of string increment i and we say that the result at index plus plus is equals to start i and this is this code is exactly the same thing for the other two char pointers okay let me paste here and copy the end and paste here. Just this. At the end, we say we must say that the result at the index, and now we don't need to increment the the index, is the end of string. Okay? Just this. So the next thing to do is form a new string with the two expressions and the operator. Here in the code, since we have already these concat char pointers done, we can just do we can just do declare a char pointer that is the new expression and call the function concat char pointer passing the expression one, the cp and the expression two. Just this. Next step is push the result string onto the stack. So in the code we do stack we call the function stack push the new expression 
just this, okay? Going forwards, we have to. Finally, we have the value in the stack that is our infix expression. So now we must go here at the end and say that the result is equals to stack pop. And this is our infix expression. And then we print. So before testing this, let me show you the main. I have a main function here that I have this integer that is test. If test is zero, it will ask you to input your expression. Okay, and then it will call the to infix expression. If it is one, I have this array of expressions already is postfix expressions this is the result in fix expressions okay and it will iterate the uh, expressions array and it will call the function to infix so let me copy this go to the REPL and paste and run and the guy says that we have a bug to infix at 174 warning implicit declaration of function 174 we go 174 and I misspelled the get precedence is get precedence like this let me change in the code 174 like this go again to the REPL run and everything is running let me show here. This is the expressions, the first one. A plus AB plus C division. Results in left parentheses, A plus B, right parentheses, division C. Let's see the last one. The last one, AB minus C, D, E, F, division plus G minus times minus H minus. It will be A minus b minus c times left parentheses d plus e division f minus g right parentheses minus h so this is the end and as always thanks for watching